Hi, I'm Richard Headland and welcome to our video guide to using a car club. Now, if you're new to car clubs, let me explain how they work. It's basically like flexible short-term car hire and you collect a car from a special parking bay like this one near the Witch office. You simply pay for how often you use a car and how far you drive it and you'll be billed for this at the end of each month. So if you feel like your car's become a bottomless pit when it comes to tax, fuel, servicing, repairs, not to mention depreciation, joining a car club could be just a way to slash your motoring costs. Let's take a quick look at the pros and cons. Car clubs are best for people who live in large cities where most are currently located. You can rent a smart new car for as little as an hour or two, right through to a whole month. And if you're a low mileage driver, say less than 6,000 miles a year, you should save hundreds, if not thousands of pounds, compared with running a similar new car yourself. Tax, maintenance, insurance, and to some extent fuel, are all included in the higher costs. And the predictable pay-as-you-go approach to driving means there's no nasty surprises, and it also focuses your mind on whether you really need to use the car at all. On the downside, you do lose the convenience of a car on your own drive, and you may have a short walk or bus ride to collect your nearest car, especially if you don't live near the centre of a large city. Costs will stack up if you're a high mileage driver, and if you return a car later than agreed, you will have to pay a fine of around £40. So to show you how a car club works, I've joined Streetcar, which has two cars parked right outside the Witch offices here in London. Now it costs £50 for the annual membership fee, and you can hire cars from as little as £3.95 an hour, and that includes your first 30 miles of petrol. Now when you join any car club, you tend to get sent a smart card like this. Now this is effectively your key to the club's network of cars. So once you've booked the car, either online or over the phone, you then turn up to collect it at the agreed time. Check the car for damage, and if you notice some, make sure you report it before you drive off. Then wave your smart card over the chip reader on the car's windscreen, and the doors unlock. Once inside the car, reach into the glove box and you'll find a secure pin pad like this one. You just punch your number into there, take the keys out and you're ready to go. Now in here you'll also find a fuel card which you use to fill up the fuel. You don't use your own money and that's because you'll only be charged for the fuel you use above and beyond your 30 mile limit. So what's a car like to drive? Well as you can see this is a pretty new VW Golf it's got less than 2,000 miles on the clock, it's nice and clean inside and it drives nice and safely. Now if I drive into London congestion charge zone which starts around here, I won't be charged the full £8 for doing so unless I'm the only driver to enter the zone today. If other drivers also go in then the £8 charge is divvied up amongst all of us. So when you're done with the car, simply return to the designated parking space, significant benefit in itself, pop the keys back in the pin pad in the glove box, pick up any rubbish you've left and hop out. So simply wave your smart card back in front of the reader to lock the car and then it'll log your return time and mileage and you'll be billed for at the end of the month. So is a car club the right choice for you? Well, mostly that will depend on how you use your car, because this is really best for low mileage drivers. And I guess it will also depend on how close your home or office is to a designated club car like this one. To find out more and to see if there's a car club in your area, visit www.carclubs.org.uk and enter your postcode.